In this video, we are going to discuss about semantic errors. What are semantic errors? They are the logical errors. In the previous video, we discussed about syntax errors. When you don't follow the grammatical rules and regulations of the programming language that you are using, those errors are called the syntax errors. However, you can make some logical errors also. They will not be detected by the compiler like your grammatical errors. These errors are called the semantic errors. When you actually execute your program, you will not get the answer as you had expected. And then you will know that you have made some logical errors. Let's take an example. This is a program that takes two numbers as input from the user and divides the first number by the second number. Now, you know that division by zero is not possible, then the computer will go into a loop and never come out. It will hang because any number divided by zero is infinity, which the computer cannot handle. So, the user has to check that the second number that has been entered is not zero, which is being done in line number 13 if num2 is equal to 0. Now here there is a logical error. num2 is equal to 0 is syntactically correct. There is no syntax error but there is a logical error. What is that error? Here the user, the programmer wants to compare the value of num2 to 0 but actually by mistake what has been done is he has written num2 is equal to 0. What does that do? When in maths you must be writing a is equal to 6. So the value of a becomes 6. Here the programmer has written num2 is equal to 0. So num2 will become 0. So every time the value of the second number will become 0. What will happen? This will happen. Now every time the if expression will evaluate to 0 because num2 is always 0 and the program will give output as you cannot divide by 0. Now this is not something you wanted. So this is a logical error. Actually the comparison operator of double equal to sign should have been given. So this is a logical error. In the next video we will learn about third type of error which is the runtime error.